Kristen and welcome to Throwback Thursday. Before I get into that, for those of you that celebrate, I just wanted to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you are having a wonderful time with your family and remembering the things that you're thankful for. I know that I am and I am thankful for so many things. I could go on and on about that. But since this is my YouTube video, I'm going to thank, let you guys know how thankful I am for you. Each and every one of you means something to me. And I just am very, very grateful for you. And this is a perfect day to make sure that I take a minute to say thank you for, for being here, for watching my videos. I appreciate you and your time. All right, having said that, um, I somehow missed Throwback Thursday last month. I, it just was in the midst of when I was traveling and it just didn't happen. So I, I don't even look at that video. I don't even know what my favorites were in October of 2012. But we're going to talk about what my favorites were in November of 2012. For those of you that are new to this type of video, this is something that was started by Marnie Miss Gold Girl. And you, I go back, she goes way back. I think she goes back to, I don't know if it's 2010 or 2011, but I go back two years and take a look at what my favorites were and see if they are still my favorites now, if I'm using them, if I still have them, what the scoop is, and report back to you guys on it. So that's what we're going to do today. The first thing that, I, and I'll link that video below, I had a crazy like navy blue smoky eye going on, not crazy. I had a, I, I have my list right here that I'm trying to make stand up. Um, I had a smoky blue eye that um, Sani from uh, Ms. May 27 had done a tutorial on. It was like crazy dark for me back then. I, I've, my tastes have changed a little bit since then and, and now I really enjoy that kind of look. But anyway, I'll link it below. Below, and the link to the tutorial is in that video in case you're curious about it. Okay, anywho, the first thing that I talked about, and this is something that I just talked about um, in my vlog this past weekend. If you guys don't know, I have a vlog channel and I've, uh, my husband and I vlog every, um, for sure, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then it goes up Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Anyway, this is the Redken Hair Cleansing Cream Shampoo. I try to use this at least once a week, but for sure I use it the night before I'm going to go in and have my hair colored. It, you know, removes all of the buildup and everything and just... Um, gets your hair ready for taking on color. So I try to use it, like I said, once a week, once every 10 days, and then um, for sure when I'm going in to get my hair colored. And I have tried a couple others since then, but this is still absolutely my favorite and I repurchase it on a regular basis. All right, the next thing that I have on here is what I have on my lips today. And this is, I, <laughs> this is before, I used to wear like pretty much all the same lip color, okay? <laughs> So this is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Honey. I do still really like this. It's perfect to have in your purse when you just want to throw on a little bit of color. Um, that's what I have on today. These have been talked to death in the past few years, but really, really still enjoying that. The next thing that I had on my, li on my list was the e.l.f. Rosy Tan Lipstick. I am fairly certain that I washed that <laughs> by accident, so I don't have it anymore. But it was also a very nice, neutral good formula. It's a, it's a really nice lipstick, but unfortunately I don't have that here to share with you guys. All right, the next thing is one of the, I just spoke about this in my Tuesday video, the Revlon Color Burst line. I just don't know why they discontinued these, but this is the one in mauve, which is my favorite. And actually I have a backup this, of this, thanks to Crystal from Miss Crystal Makeup. She hooked me up with a backup when they were going away. So that is what that looks like. I do still really enjoy this shade. Just a nice, wearable easy shade and this formula was so nice and I'll try not to go off on a tangent again about that because I did a little bit in my lips video but you know and then one other lip product that I had on there and it's funny because when I did a lip clean out I had three of these so I clearly liked it one was a gift from uh, another youtuber um Tamara and then I purchased two more long way somewhere. I don't know. But it's this is the NYX lip liner in natural. It's just a really good basic lip liner shade to have. It's kind of similar to my lip color and so it works with just about any anything. So I do still really like that clearly because I have three of them. And I like the formula of these. I don't find I don't find them too drying. I mean any lip liner is going to be a little bit drying I think, but I don't find those particularly drying. The next thing that I had on here was this head was when the Bare Minerals Beautifully Brilliant QVC auto delivery was. And I had just gotten, I think, the first shipment. So it was the one with all these kind of red, really pretty covers. And this is the, the shade, in, the blush in Perfect Rose. I have a hard time swatching loose pigments, but we're going to try here. That's not too bad. This 
I don't know and I will link anything below. If any of these products are available still, I will have it below for you. That is the shade. I hope that you guys can see that. Um, really, really pretty. It's a great shade that goes with anything. And I stand by what I said in this video that while these are a little bit of a pain to deal with, they blend into your skin and become part of your skin. Uh, that for me, that's the key. I'm really liking a, a blush and the Bare Minerals blushes. I, I don't think I've had one that I didn't like, you know, because of that effect. I mean, we didn't like the color as much on me or something, but the formula is really nice. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say. All right, the next one is the blush that I have on my cheeks today, and I've talked this one ad nauseum. Um, this is the Elamasca, so it looks like this. Yes, I've seen these, and this is in Naked Rose. And I think that Sephora no longer carries Ilamasca. I'm not positive, but I will find some place for you if you're interested. This is just, again, one of those perfect sort of everyday shades. You can see that's what I have. It's matte. I have a highlight on today, which I'll tell you at the end, but gorgeous. I don't even know how many times this has shown up in my favorites, but several several times because in case you're new to my channel welcome <laughs> and um, when I do my favorites they are my favorites at the moment not necessarily something new that I had purchased that that month but just something that I'm loving whether I've had it for a year two years or three weeks okay uh, the next thing that I had is the Laura Mercier burnished copper I had I haven't used this in so long and so I broke it out and I have it on my eyes today this is the metallic cream eye color. I hope these are still available because good gravy this is gorgeous. I just had completely forgotten about it. Comes in a little squeeze tube which is nice and easy to use. You hardly need any. It would last you a lifetime and I just can't remember the last time I wore it. So that is what it looks like. I'm gonna, uh, I will blend it out a little bit. So I have this as the base of my eye. So what I talked about was enjoying this in combination with, with the next shade I'm going to show you, which is the Bare Minerals Loose Shadow in Celestine. i attempt to show you without making a big old mess. And I'm going to do exactly what I did in that video, is show you it by itself. Okay, so there's Celestine by itself, there's Burnished Copper by itself, and I'm going to put what's on my eyes today is a little bit of the Celestine over the burnished copper. I probably didn't let, let it dry long enough, but you will get the idea. Plus, you can see it on my eyeballs. So there it is over that. It, it's a really, really pretty look. I had totally forgotten about it. it made me so happy to go back and watch it. And I was, <laughs> sometimes when I go back and watch these, I'm like, oh, how did I forget about that? So... Uh, while I while I haven't used it, I do still really like it and was really happy to to have been reminded of that combo. So the next products on there, I had just recently gotten some um, Ilamasca products from Sani, actually. I think the Naked Rose she maybe sent me or I purchased it. I can't remember because I have quite a few of them now. One of the things she sent me is the cream pigment, <laughs> spit it out game, a cream pigment and this is in Delirium. And it's a pretty mauve, and again, I haven't used this in so long. It's just gorgeous. And perfect for fall, so I'm going to, all of these things I'm breaking back out again. <laughs> gorgeous. And then what I was using it in conjunction with is this quad. And the quad is in the complement, and it has four shades in it. Slink, Focus, Queen of the Night, and Forgiveness. But I don't know which is which. And... What I said in that video, and I stand by that, I don't use this cream one very much because it tends to crease. But these other shades are just gorgeous, and they're so creamy. And again, I don't remember the last time I used this. I should do like a, you know, use my quads and quince, no repeats sort of a, gosh, that could go on all year. <laughs> so those are the those are the shades right there just really pretty very blendable and I don't hear a lot of chatter about these quads which is probably why I forgot I had forgotten about it and then the other two yeah the last two things that I had in there were the other two products that came in that Bare Minerals Beautifully Brilliant kit this is in the possibilities and let me just grab my Happy Place quad. Okay, so the black one is the Happy Place, and this one is the Possibilities. So while they are not exactly the same, they are similar. 
but not exactly the same. But I remember people talking about it back then, you know. And I don't think I had the happy place at the time. But this again, this was from QVC in a kit. I don't know that it is necessarily available currently. A lot of times QVC will come out with products that you can only get on QVC and then after a year or so, sometimes six months, you just never know, uh, they will make it available for anybody. But I don't remember seeing this one in their permanent collection. But what the shade I was liking the most is this kind of peachy champagne shade here. And I think one of the reasons I liked it so much is that that peachy champagne is the only shade that was shimmery and the other ones were matte. Are matte. It's not like they just said they turned into mats. <laughs> I mean, really, game. All right, so those are the shades there. For the sake of comparison, that's the happy place, and then that's the possibilities. So they, I mean, they are different. Just for the sake of comparison, <laughs> I almost forgot I, to talk about the Bare Minerals duo. This was the last thing, and this was a liner do. I'm going to take the brush out of it. And the one, this one is in the Horizon line and has Panorama and Perspective. So it's a really nice deep brown and then a very like steel charcoal kind of gray shade. And I actually didn't mind using the little liner brush that it came with. You can use these wet or dry and they were, you know, intended to be liners, but you can certainly use them for deepening an outer corner or you know, all over lit. You can use them for whatever your little heart desires. <laughs> That's the beauty of the Bare Minerals Ready Shadows. But they came like this. In ten, it's actually was called the Ready Liner Shadow 2.0. But, you know, obviously you can use them for whatever you want. Um, I have not used these in a really long time. <laughs> so, again, it was a good reminder that they're in my collection. And I actually have two other... There were I think there were four shipments of this particular kit. I canceled the last one, I believe, but I have the, you know, the other three. The other two came in like silver packaging. So if you have those in, collect in your collection, pull those out. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this look back at my favorites from November of 2012. I can't even believe it. My hair is really short. <laughs> um, what I have on my face today is Dior Star Foundation still. Over the top of that today, I have uh, Laura, Le Laura Mercier Loose Minerals in Natural Beige. As my blush today, as I said, I have the Illamasqua Naked Rose. Um, you saw the base of my eye, which was the Laura Mercy Burnished Copper, and then Bare Minerals Celestine over the top of that. That was an eyeliner falling into the garbage that shouldn't. <laughs> um, then in the outer corner, I used MAC Folly. And in the inner corner, I used, I believe this is Naked Lunch. In the inner corner, it is Naked Lunch. I had to double check this to make sure. And I took... Um, at Folly Beneath My Lower Lash Line as well. And for my liner today that I just pulled out of the garbage that fell in. <laughs> it's the Marc Jacobs liner in... I was trying to find the colors on here the other day. It's in blacker. That was really hard to locate on there. It's teeny tiny. I've been playing with these liners to test a little bit. And Revlon Just Bitten in Honey. I think that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you celebrate, I wish you and your family the happiest of Thanksgivings. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye!